First, open settings and make sure that low power mode is turned off or disabled. After that, go to general background app refresh and ensure it is set to Wi-Fi and cellular data. After that, open the website tweakload.com using a browser. You can also visit rocketmods.com. Look for an application called iAPK, which might stand for iPhone APK. Click download and wait for the installation process to complete. However, before we can use the app, we need to complete a few tasks, such as installing and playing a game until reaching a certain level. This is meant to support the developers of iAPK. And friends, if you have followed the steps up to this point, it means you have been scammed, just like I was before. Before you start getting angry and calling this clickbait or anything else, I suggest you hold back your emotions for a minute or two and watch this video until the end. If after watching it fully you feel like it was a waste of time, just dislike and report the video. A few minutes of patience can save you from a huge loss in the future. So, here's the thing. Installing apps on an iPhone from outside the App Store is already a complicated process. It's not like Android where you can just tap an APK file and install it right away. On an iPhone, you can't simply tap a behave file and have it install. It doesn't work that way. You need to sideload it using a developer account, which isn't exactly an easy process. Now, if installing apps that are actually made for iPhone but not available on the App Store is already complicated, then installing Android apps on an iPhone is even more difficult, if not impossible. In short, if someone claims that you can easily install Android apps on iOS without modifying the programming language, it's almost certainly a scam or just a marketing trick to get you to install their app. Yes, it is possible to install iPhone apps using profiles or enterprise certificates, but keep in mind, this method is unofficial. Again, unofficial and unsafe. Because it's unofficial, Apple can revoke the certificate at any time which would cause the app to stop working. But that's not even the biggest issue. The real danger is that by installing and granting permission to an unofficial profile or certificate, you're giving them access to your personal data, which could be misused. For example, they could use your data to apply for online loans in your name, since enterprise certificates can grant deep access to your device. So think carefully. Is it really worth the risk? To be honest, I was already skeptical from the start about installing Android apps on iOS, but since I really needed some Android apps that weren't available on iOS, I decided to take the risk. And once again, I was reminded that if something sounds too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Now, some might say, but bro, I saw a video on YouTube where an iPhone was actually running Android apps. Well, the most likely explanation is that it's a fake iPhone which actually runs Android, so of course it can run Android apps. In short, it's impossible to install Android apps on an iPhone without rewriting the app's code. If you don't believe me, feel free to try it yourself, but be aware of the risks. At the very least, I've done my part in warning you. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and sharing it so more people can understand and avoid getting scammed.